New at five, an adult man was able to move around inside Baldwinsville's high school for half an hour before staff spoke to him late yesterday. Prompting a lockdown that lasted several hours. The village police chief says he believes that trespasser meant no harm, but this incident is raising security questions at the district. The I team's Connor White takes us inside what happened. He's live for us in Baldwinsville tonight. Connor. Megan, Matt, on Monday afternoon, parents waited anxiously outside of the campus for about two hours, unable to get any closer to the high school after the district placed that building on lockdown. We're now learning that the trespasser is a relatively recent alum. He graduated from Baker in 2017, but he was telling people inside the high school that he was a new student after he got in through a side door. 3 p.m. Monday. Where do you want us coming in from? Baldwinsville police arrive at CW Baker High School, trying to find a suspicious person who had gotten into the school building during dismissal. We're seeing exiting out of exit 14 or 15. We don't have them. The end of the school day marking the start of confusion and panic for parents. It was almost frantic. Um, they didn't know what was going on. They didn't know why they couldn't go up. Nora Carson lives nearby. Seeing police show up, she feared the worst. Are they on lockdown? Is this person still loose? Later that evening, Baldwinsville police arrest 25 year old Jack Ripe at his home and charge him with trespassing. Released with a ticket to appear in court, the district confirms Gripe called individual schools on Tuesday to apologize. They were cooperative. We searched the residence, no weapons of any kind there, and uh, no, uh, no, no, no evidence of ill intent at all. Village Police Chief Michael Lefinchek says the Baldwinsville alum, who graduated in 2017, told officers he was feeling nostalgic, taking a basketball with him to the high school on Monday. District spokesperson Sarah Buckshot says he entered a side door not monitored by staff. Buckshot says if students use those doors to leave for the day, they are not meant to let anyone inside. Students were exiting the door and he entered as students were exiting. Police say Gripe first tried to go to the gym, finding the doors locked. He was ultimately left to walk around the building for half an hour before a teacher spoke to him and brought him to the administrative office. The district spokesperson says he was pretending to be a new student. When an administrator told him that police could get involved, he panicked and ran, prompting the lockdown at Baker and lockouts at the neighboring school buildings. That should be, I guess, a, you could say a learning point for this should never happen again. In a recent public meeting, the district discussed hiring a private security guard to be able to help monitor those main entrances. But again, those side doors, which are otherwise always locked, are not being monitored. No one is ever meant to be entering there. The district also shares that each individual building has at least one special resource officer staffed by Baldwinsville police. Reporting in Baldwinsville, I'm Connor White. And meantime, continued vigilance by everybody is important to keep people as safe as possible. Connor, thank you.